Since I started sewing, I couldn't help but wonder why my handmade bags didn't have that same appeal as store-bought bags. I became determined to learn how to make professional looking bags on a domestic sewing machine. And after years of sewing and experience, I am excited to introduce you to my brand new book, A Field Guide to Making Bags. Whether you're just starting your sewing journey or you've been sewing for a few years, this book will become your essential guide to making bags. Within this book's pages, you'll learn the foundation foundational knowledge about bag making, build the confidence to explore new materials and techniques, and there's five skill building projects to get you started. I've written this book to build your bag making skill set. As you work through the chapters and the projects, you'll be armed with knowledge and eager for more. This book is divided into three parts, which makes it easy for skill building, but also easy to jump around and find the information that you need. Part one is bag basics. So I share lots of information information and tips about different types of bags, fabrics and interfacing, hardware, including basic hardware tutorials, handbag zippers, and notions for bag making. Not only is part one a great reference, but you could also consider it a shopping list for your customers. So that way they feel confident in selecting fabrics, notions, and other accessories needed for their next project. Part two is key skills. So in this chapter, I start to dive a little bit deeper and share more information and tips about parts of a bag, my best tips for structure and shaping, information and tutorials for closures, pockets, straps, and handles, and also bag care. And lastly, part three includes five skill building projects. The first project is quilted pouches. This stylish project is the perfect place for beginners to start. It's a modern take on a classic quilted zipper pouch using soft faux leather or natural cork fabric and minimalist quilting for additional texture. The next project is a fold over crossbody bag. In order to continue to build your bag making confidence, the fold over crossbody bag has been designed with similar steps as the quilted pouches. This convenient crossbody is a trendy design with contrasting accents. There's plenty of space inside to store essentials and the adjustable strap can be removed to carry this bag as a clutch. The third project is a beginner tote. This medium sized tote has lots of room for storage from the depth of the boxed corners. The addition of pockets makes this bag very functional for students, professionals, light travel, or everyday use. The beginner tote has been designed with similar steps as the quilted pouches. So again, you can become more confident and comfortable with the process. The next project is one of my favorite designs of this book, which is a hobo bag. It's sophisticated and stylish. This hobo bag was designed with minimal details to gradually expand your bag making expertise, but also to pair effortlessly with everything in your closet. And to cap off the projects, I concluded this book with a handbag design. By the end of this book, hopefully you'll feel prepared to tackle a more challenging style of bag and put your knowledge to the test. This handbag has been designed to make a sophisticated statement every day. The convenient side pockets give easy access to small essentials and the roomy interior provides space for larger items secured with a zipper closure. So now it's up to you to decide if you're ready to embark on the adventure of bag making. I truly hope that you enjoy reading this book and making the projects that I've designed for you. I am truly grateful to be able to have authored this book. It is one of my life's greatest achievements and I hope that it will inspire you to keep learning and keep creating. Thank you for watching and I wish you happy stitching.